All right, welcome everyone, teachers, parents, community members. Thank you for taking the time to be present for this important conversation about how adults can um, do better for kids. Can everyone hear me okay? Can I get a thumbs up if you can hear me good? Great. My name is Paula Bird. I am the Executive Director of Youth, which stands for Youth Organizing United to Help. I am also the co-founder of hashtag Books Not Bars OR. We are working to reduce, reduce the school to prison pipeline, if you're familiar with our work and what we do. And I'm also the co-chair of Decoding Dyslexia, Oregon's Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee. Welcome everyone for being here. Please introduce yourselves, use that chat function. Go ahead and drop your, your city, where you're from, what you do. Let's, we might as well just get familiar with one another because we're going to be sitting here for another hour and a half. Just a little background on how we got here. Back in March, um, Lisa Lyon, who is a visionary with all within herself, um, came up with this idea to have a March to Literacy Summit that was held back in March. If you were in the room, thank you very much. If you missed it, we will find a way to get you the recordings. It was a powerful and dynamic discussion um, around the failure um, that the system has set up to teach black and brown learners to read proficiently, right? And at the end of that event, there was a call of action and everyone still wanted to talk about it, still had questions. And out of that wonderful event came tonight, a chance where we get to talk, where we get to put some action items in place um, and where we get to really advocate for our black and brown children here, not only in Oregon, but in the United States. Before we begin, we're, I'm going to read some agreed upon truths. <clears throat> One, we believe that literacy is a civil right. We believe that all people have the right to be taught to read and that there are devastating financial, social, emotional, and societal issues when literacy is not achieved. We believe that having 50% of Oregon's children not reading at grade level is unacceptable. And if you believe that's not unacceptable, go ahead and give me a snap in the camera. As a community, we believe we must do better for Oregon's children. And we invite you to be part of this conversation to identify obstacles, to make suggestions, to reduce barriers and improve accountability. There has been an org on some of you are aware that there has been an ongoing communication with the College of Education at PSU and various organizations and community members. We let them know that there that we have concerns about some of their coursework and the fact that so many learners are not being taught to read. Hence 50% of Oregon's children and of those 50% 70% are black and brown learners, although PSU declined to give remarks tonight. We want to acknowledge and thank members of PSU leadership who are actively listening and on this call. And I would like to thank everyone for attending. 